Hi there and welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars. We are here to talk about the harmonious bit. Our direct neighbors. But we have no access to their area, strangely. We have um, found this race of the Equis that have been repugnant and strong, but they have transformed their bodies into a cute appearance, which of course mocks us a bit and which really helps us to see them as a sort of harmless race, which we could be friends with, which we could offer association status maybe. And they are pretty friendly. They are, they at least don't hate us. They don't like our genocidal tendencies, but that's something they would have to live with. And they're Federation builders. And the history of these fascinating beings that now look like dictics more than like the horses, so they are like very cute horses now, um, will be told to you by the SSS. This is your loyal SSS, uh, officer. We have found something else. Our direct neighbors, the Harmonious. These cute looking species has a fascinating past. Long ago, the Equis were simple primitive quadrupeds happily living in simple straw huts when an alien ship crash landed on their world. The primitive Equis greeted them with kindness and friendship, but the aliens were cruel slavers that enslaved the Equis race. They modified their bodies into repugnant bipeds to better serve them. And the industry pollution made by the aliens turned the green world brown. However, they made the Equis so strong and intelligent that they overthrew their alien masters <coughs> and took their technology to bring peace and harmony to the galaxy and to the stars. And the only way they know how to do that, which means by force. And they have also, it seems, um, modified themselves <coughs> with the power of cuteness um, to very cute beings, now similar to Dictix again. This might be, or might not have been, a mistake, but we think they are totally cute and harmless, and we should probably um, try to get an alliance with them, at least for now. At least for now. But they won't they won't be predators. They cannot be. Look I mean look at them. Just look at them. Your arch prophet. So this is a possible sign of friendship. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. And we'll now I think it would be very good to offer them an association status. So we maybe will gain positive relations with them. They are cute and we should start that. So we will maybe have the chance to also get access to another guy not attacking us when the next war is coming. They are definitely not our next target, so offer them association status. This will increase their trust of us by 0.5 each month. Partnership? Yes, let's confirm this. Let's see if this goes well. Yes. We're glad to have this opportunity to work with the Holy Shell Pact. Construction nice. complete. Now we can continue. And yeah, we, we now have our forces um, combined. Oh, this is all right. Yeah, the protectors of the inner shell definitely need more power. We we will look into upgrading them. Construction complete. Neptulus has finished its surface constructions, and now. Now we have access to power hubs, which means we should replace this thing. Finally gain a power hub there. And then we'll replace that also and make another power plant work here. And then hope we'll have enough power for for our emperor, uh, emperor, and for our empire, I mean, for the time being. We can now move a little bit more freely with our research. Mm. 
I mean, we have a society output bonus there. Hmm. And we should definitely rework some of this. Yep. Five food surplus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we won't kill anything for food right now, but we may we might replace something here. The mining network is probably not that good. We might replace the power plant as it's like less good and we have the power now from other sources. So here, at least here, we'll place another food tile so we can replace that power plant with um, a basic science lab. <coughs> We can replace that one here, also with a basic science lab. And then we'll see what to do. We're transforming this into a research planet. Then we have this area. Which has minimum growth. That is good. So we're just waiting here. Then we have Imdar Prime, Minerals Planet. It has a lot of food surplus, it should have enough. Imdar Secundus. We'll soon have another snail here, and then we'll have one free field here to grow, so... Uh, nothing special, nothing special. And we might as well build that frontier outpost here. But we really, really need... Um, we need better tech. I mean, this synchronized defense will be very good for our space stations as well. So that will be a big help in defense. And I mean, as soon as we have it, we'll upgrade it in all our spaceports. And then we may build that frontier outpost here. But for now, we need to be um, watchful. <coughs> We're gaining trust with the Harmonious. They like that. They like to be Federation Associate. So let's see uh, what will become from that. Let's look at our federation. We have still some time here to build some federation ships. So we have designed some ships there, but I mean, we should probably take the standard federation destroyers. Let's give let's give the Federation to destroyers. I mean what can go wrong? It should be really good. Also give some minerals to Hadnock Prime. So we can improve even more there. <laughs> huh. And now there is a question. I mean we should really the next governor that dies will not be replaced. Be it Khalid Gobani, be it Sandra Cross with its with her arrested development. Uh, because we need a general and we need armies. We have Nanami Mura here as an invader. That would be really good. Adaptable, yeah, that's not bad. Charismatic is also really good. Oh, the Umpani Coalition is now the rival of the Harmonious. That is good. Really? Really good. Let's have a look. Ah, the Umpani. The 
Yeah. Elder things, tea humans, misophons. Oh. Construction complete. I mean, we maybe we could rival the Umpani as well. Let's see. Spaceport here. Whiter Prime also finished his surface construction queue. Let's look at our um, armadas here. Let's actually unite these. Now we have 33 of 34, so we can build another uh, Federation Corvette. I mean, to increase the pressure, we should really, really try to. Get these planets here. Akshya Havat. Late medieval age. Habitability 40% for us. Construction complete. Would be good though. Neptulus Prime has finished the construction. Yes, of course. And. Very uniting. Okay. The Federation ships strangely are double as good as our ships. <laughs> and I really don't know why. I mean, I fear the worst, but what can you do? Miri Nigri made peace with the Misophans. They lost. Let's have a look. Yeah, they definitely lost a lot here. But the Misophans now have a very fragile territory. The Holy Rochans wishes to declare war against the T-Humans. Hmm. The Mooks made peace with Mirinigri. And we have... We had identified the T-Humans with... Um, Oh no. And the scientific directorate has now entered a pact with the T humans. Should have done that earlier. Ah, scientific directorate. Now we have to look at the directorate. We cannot defend against the directorate, I think. They are much stronger than we are. Can they come to us? That's the question. They're viewing us as a rival. Everything is equivalent. They have a defensive pact. Cannot vote yes at the moment. It's... it's... Uh, it would be really bad. Humiliate, liberate Vipostam, liberate Sheraton, Seed Planet, and it was a very good thing, but we cannot do it now, no. There's too many defensive pacts going on. I'm sorry, Holy Rochans. We should have stopped the game, then we could have declared the war. Construction complete. Ha ha ha. 
upgrade the buildings. Yes, now, now our energy credits are going well. Let's have a look. We're at 68 right now. It's much more than the whole Hadnock Prime sector. Very well done. Of course, the Holy Rochans are now a little bit pissed off <laughs> about us. Uh... Nice change of pace from the groveling emissaries from lesser species. Voted down our proposal here. It would be would have been suicide. Mook Union. Mm. They might also vote down our proposals now, but that would have been really bad. Against the scientific directorate, we would have lost. And now with that three... Fold packed. Mm, just no. Just no. And so the only thing lost is. Oh, the mooks va vassalized the Mirinigri. What? <laughs> Look at that. The Mirinigri were like a big, a very big. Oh, no. That was the kingdom. That is the empire. Research complete. Construction complete. And the MOOC Union now has... The, wow. They've completed the research of synchronized defenses now. Aligning defensive and offensive weapon execution paradigms allows for increased efficiency. Very good. Very helpful. Now, what should we do now to make the galaxy safer again? Subspace sensors are not bad. Increasing our tracking. Uh, we, sh we should, though, probably have better lasers. That is all good and fine, but we don't need colony development right now. So, let's go for our UV lasers. And also the research agreement is good for that. So that's nice as well. Nautilon's breath again. Yeah, and we can build there. We have society output plus there, so we'll build bio labs. Two bio labs, and we now have yeah, blocker removal on the planet, so we'll remove that as well. On Capsec Prime now. Uh, no governor. Imdar Prime. Yes, goodness. Yeah, we could remove these now. We definitely have the resources to do that. We have the governor to do it, so we'll do it. Whiter Prime. We'll give us physics research. They have no special modifier. So let's do that. And you guy here, you will also get science lab I mean we should gain ground in the science race right now we should scientific directorate also in a defensive pact with the harmonious cannot invite them to, to the Federation at all. <laughs> like, that's just it. Um, hmm. Could offer a trade deal to them. Maybe a research group. Yeah, okay. No research agreement. Um, should have a look at the ship designer. What new weapons do we have? All right, we have nothing. <laughs> what new weapons could we have for the Corvette? Also nothing. Construction complete. Luxner class has the intermediate defensive combat. All right. 
Neptulus, yes. Uh, we have five food surplus on Neptulus. So we are able to get another um, to get another um, power plant here. Let's do that. Will be great. Alicia Vasquez has leveled up. And all of our snails are strangely geared towards society research. <laughs> That's on the other on the one hand it's awesome, on the other hand it's hmm, we would like to have better scientists. Let's look for more leaders. What would we be able to gain there? No one really good. So, Ju Kong. Yeah, he's gaining experience. You can see that um, by the assisting of the research, but that's really not much. Oh, the assist helps us a lot. Like, it's, I think it's 11% or something, so it's really good. You know, you should not build science ships for that, because that would be a waste, but in general it's a good idea to do that with the science, um, the members of your science uh, force that will be able to do it. Can we, though, move s along somewhere here, somewhere here? No. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do something forcefully in the future. But that would have been the wrong move. We would have been destroyed. I mean, maybe not the Holy Rogians, but we would have been destroyed. Build a military station there. Oh man, that sway bees hate us as well. The vol. Oh, good job. Now the vol are also soon to be in a defensive pact. <laughs> great, great stuff. Great stuff. Ah. Oh. Definitely, we are boxed in. We need much better lasers or, in general, weapons to do something. Grand Concord, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that T-Human Hierarchy. They are doing their charms here. And they'll really hate on us first and foremost. They're superior. Of course research they are superior. Complete. Oh, I've research completed. Keramo metal materials. Keramo metal armor, a combination of different metals and ceramics that result in a strong shell without sacrificing flexibility. And what should we go next? Uh, yeah, we'll go for something extremely cheap now. I mean, the destroyer assembly yards would be all be good and fine and would be making galaxy safer again, but that is so cheap, we have to reveal that resource. Just have to do it. 20 months. Yeah, we have the research agreement on that as well. And it's, it's going into some sort of static... Uh, universe right now. It will be a while before the Fang Friends and the T-Human Hierarchy clash. The Thaloran League here. Construction Four. complete. Democratic Republic of Super Earth is there. Yeah, Neptulus. Nice. Let's give us more. Give us more. Mm -hmm. 
and how is the sector doing? Yeah, it's it's up to 63. That's very good. They don't have many minerals right now, so let's give them just a lot of minerals and hope they'll do something with it. And... Uh, yeah, let's wait a little bit until we have room for another destroyer. And let's build a destroyer ourselves here in the spaceport. A duck snail class destroyer. Yeah, everything is going well so far, but really not in the most comfortable position. declare war yet I mean that must be the, the the thing right they really don't count we will overrun them just like that um, thing is can we deal with the elder things probably not look at them They're superior in technology and they are also Ah, they have done so much. It's really a problem for us. <laughs> Construction complete. Spaceport has finished. Yeah, we're improving our forces. Construction complete. Surface construction here is finished as well. Go for the physics lab. We have no scarcity in minerals. There's always that. And then we can also go for another... Hmm. Maybe we'll go for monument to purity right now. On the other hand... Yeah. Can't do that yet. Really, it wouldn't be a good idea yet. So let's go for the basic science lab here. And here, we'll soon have another thing going. Basic science lab. Research planet. Here, this is our mineral planet. Place this guy here and give him... Oh, we don't have the Frontier Clinic and we don't need it. Let's give him the Mining Network. Capsec Prime is doing well. Construction complete. It's too food right now. Neptulus, yes. The power, the power is there. And we are waiting for something, for something to inspire us, to, to happen in the universe. Because we are really... In that giant shell we are boxed in. And maybe we'll have to betray the Holy Rogians by building that outpost. But first, we should try to snatch it here. I mean, they are a tributary. So they shouldn't be able to declare war on us, really. What will happen if we build that frontier outpost here. Maybe we'll gain access to that system. Then we'll build the frontier outpost there. 
and can kill the other furniture outpost. That would be a method to box them in. It will cost us influence. But we'll try. We'll try to mix it up a little bit. I mean, if we get attacked, then that's another story, right? Oh yeah, these the humans. <coughs> they are really a mess. Absolutely hate them. <laughs> They're going to be the power. And you... You should gain a basic science lab here. Kavzak okay, Prime's doing well, producing minerals. Could remove that deep sinkhole here. First, uh, hmm. construction complete. First, what? Mineral silo, frontier clinic. I mean, this is desert terrain, but we have habitability of one hundred percent, so we don't need anything there. So. This is going relatively well. We can build another mining network here. In the secundus is doing well. We can upgrade to a physics lab. And we're generally in good shape now. We're getting in shape science wise. Construction complete. Also, just getting in shape in general. For what are we getting in shape? Probably for a giant conflict. When and where will that be? We don't know yet. We don't know. So while we're building that frontier outpost here in on Siabaulia, I'll say to you, thank you for watching, happy gaming to you, and... We'll make the galaxy safer again in the next episode of Snail Wars. Happy gaming to you. <laughs>